In the year 1154, Henry Plantagenet, the Duke of Normandy, ascended to the throne of England, not by birthright, but through his cunning, audacity, and ruthlessness. Two years earlier, Henry had married Eleanor of Aquitaine. She was the holder of many lands and easily a match for Henry. Two equal... But opposite forces. Henry. And Eleanor. The, the Lion, Lion in Winter, Winter by, by James, James Goldman. Goldman. So, you want me back. A lace thinks I do. She thinks the need for loving never stops. She's got a point. To your interminable help. Well, wife, what's on your mind? Henry, we have made a mess of it. Yes, haven't we? <laughs> you look like doomsday. <laughs> Late nights do that to me. I'm so tired, Henry. Well, sleep then. Sleep and dream of me with croutons. Henri a la mode de cane. <laughs> Henry, stop it. Eleanor, I haven't started. What is it you want? You want my name on paper? I'll sign anything. You want the Aquitaine for John? It's John's, it's yours, it's anyone's. Take it. In exchange for what? For nothing. For a little quiet. Oh. For an end to this, for God's sake, sail me back to England, lock me up and lose the key and let me be. You have my oath. Well? 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 Your oaths are all profanities. Your name on paper is a waste of pulp. I'm vilifying you, for God's sake, pay attention. How, from where we started, did we ever reach this Christmas? Step by step. What happens to me now? Oh, that's lively curiosity from such a dead cat. Conquer China, sack the Vatican, or take the veil. I'm not among the ones who give a damn. Just let me sign my lands to John and go to bed. No, you're too kind. I can't accept. Oh, come on, man. I'll sign the thing in blood or spit or bright blue ink. Let's have it done. Let's not. No, I don't think I want your name on anything. You don't? <laughs> Dear God, this pleasure I still get from goading you. <laughs> you don't want John to have my provinces? You've grasped it. Can't bear you when you're smug. I know, I know. You don't want Richard and you don't want John. Bullseye. All right, let me have it. Level me. What do you want? A new wife. Oh, so I'm to be uh, nulled. Well, will the Pope annul me, do you think? The pontiff owes me one pontificate. I think he will. Out Eleanor, in a lace. Why? A new wife, wife, will bear me sons. That is the single thing of which I should have thought you had enough. I want a son. Whatever for? Let me count the bastards. All my sons are bastards. You really mean to do it. Oh, lady love, with all my heart. Your sons are part of you. We made them. They're our boys. I know. And good God, look at them. Young Henry, vain, deceitful, Weak and cowardly. The only patriotic thing he ever did was to die. I thought you loved him the most. I did. <laughs> and then there's Joffrey. Oh, there's a masterpiece. He isn't flesh. He's a device. He's wheels and gears. Well, every family has one. But not four. Then Johnny. Was his latest treason your idea? Don't share John with me. He's your accomplishment. Oh, and Richard's yours. How could you send him off to deal with Philip? I was tired. I was busy. They were friends. Eleanor, he was the best. The strongest, bravest, handsomest. And from the cradle on, you cradled him. I never had a chance. You never wanted one. How do you know? You took him. 
separation from your husband you could bear, but not your boy. Whatever I have done, you made me do. You threw me out of bed for Richard. Not until you threw me out for Rosamond. It's not that simple. I won't have it be that simple. I adored you. Never. I still do. Don't all the lies. That one is the most terrible. I know. That is why I've saved it up for now. Oh, Henry, we have mangled everything we ever touched. Oh, deny us what you will. We have done that. Do you remember when we met? Down to the hour and the color of your stockings. There was uh, very little talk, as I recall it. Very little. I've never seen such beauty. And I walked right up and touched it. I loved you. No annulment. What? There will be no annulment. Will there not? No. I'm afraid you will have to do without. Well, it was just a whim. Oh, I'm so relieved. I didn't want to lose you. And out of curiosity, as intellectual to intellectual, how in the name of bleeding Jesus can you lose me? Am I ever with you? Ever near you? Am I ever anywhere but somewhere else? You're no part of me. We touch at no point. How can you lose me? Can't you feel the chains? You know enough to know I can't be stopped. But I don't have to stop you. I have only to delay you. Every enemy you have has friends in Rome. We'll cost you time. What is this? I'm good for years. How many years? Suppose I hold you back for one. I can. It's possible. Suppose we're daughtered next. We were. That too is possible. How old is Daddy then? What kind of spindly, rickets-ridden, milky, semi-witted, wizened, dim-eyed, gammy-handed, limpy line of things will you beget? It's sweet of you to care. And when you die, which is regrettable but necessary, you can't think Richard's going to wait for your grotesquerie to grow. What will happen to frail Elaise and her pruny prince? You wouldn't let him do a thing like that. Let him. I'd push him through the nursery door. You're not that cruel. Oh, don't fret. We'll wait until you're dead to do it. I will die sometime soon. One day I'll duck too slowly, and at Westminster they'll sing out Vivat Rex for someone else. I beg of you, let it be a son of mine. I am not moved to tears. I have no sons. You have too many sons. Well, wish me luck. I'm off. To Rome. That's where they keep the Pope. <laughs> you go to Rome, we'll rise against you. Who will? Richard, John, Joffrey, and Eleanor of <laughs> Aquitaine. The day that those stout hearts band together. It's the day that pigs get wings. There'll be pork in the treetops come the morning. Don't you see? You leave the country and you've lost it. All of you at once. And Philip, too, he'd join us. Yes, he would. <laughs> Should I take a thousand men at arms, or is that uh, showy? <laughs> oh, bluff away. I love it. Oh, poor Eleanor, how can I break the news? You've just miscalculated. Have I? How? You should have lied to me. You should have promised to be good while I was gone. Then I would have let your three boys loose. <laughs> now what's to stop me? 
I forbid it. <laughs> she forbids it. <laughs> Did your father sleep with me or didn't he? No doubt you're going to tell me that he did. Would it upset you? What about the thousand men? Uh, I say be gaudy and to hell with it. Don't leave me, Henry. I'll do anything to keep you. I think you think you mean it. Test me. Name and act. Eleanor, we're past it. Years past. There isn't one. Yes, there is. <laughs> you can expire. You first, old man, and I hope I'm there to watch. You're so afraid of dying. Poor Eleanor, if only she had lied. She did. She said she never loved your father, but I've never touched you without thinking. Joffrey, Joffrey. When you hurt me, I'll cry out. I'll put more horns on you than Louis ever wore. Am I supposed to care? I loved your father's body. It was beautiful. It never happened. I can see his body now. Shall I describe it? Eleanor, I hope you die. His arms were rough with scars here. Stop it! I can feel his arms. I feel them. No! What's that? Have I hurt you? We did it. You were in the next room when we did it. Well, what, what family doesn't have its ups and downs? It's so, so cold. I can't feel anything. Nothing at all. We couldn't go back, could we? Henry?